The young people of the world today have to come to a very uncomfortable conclusion that the current generation of adult political and business leaders in particular have run out of fresh ideas, have sold their souls to the very companies that are driving our planet to destruction. And when I say driving our planet to destruction, making it impossible that in the coming centuries people will be able to exist on this planet because it, it will be warm up to a point that we would not have water in sufficient quantities for agriculture or human consumption. We will not have land where we can grow food. We will have sea levels rising to a point where today what we know as countries or major cities could be wiped off the map if we do not act now. Young people must now recognize that they have to take leadership of the climate movement and of their own future. The current generation of adult leaders are not governing with any sense of intergenerational solidarity. We need, the world needs, young people's ideas, fresh ideas, new perspectives, and a greater sense of solidarity across artificial national boundaries. Young people need to recognize that they are pretty much on their own if you want to be brutal about the truth. And if you do not stand up and show courage and even resist through peaceful civil disobedience, the juggernaut of the power of oil, coal and gas companies and other polluting industries, nobody else will. Young people should not accept that they are simply leaders of tomorrow. You have to assert that you are actually leaders of today because by tomorrow there might be no tomorrow.